Number 10. Frozen Mummies At the edge of the Arctic, mummified members of an unknown civilization were recently dug out of the permafrost. This amazing discovery happened at the burial site of Zeleni Yar, which was once a necropolis used by very early humans living in Siberia. According to Alexander Gusev, the researcher who led the expedition, they discovered the mummified remains of an adult and a baby all wrapped up lying next to one another. The bodies had been cocooned in copper, fur, and bark buried with their feet facing the river. Someone had taken great care to bundle up the bodies tightly in thick fabric, then wrapped them in layers and layers of birch bark. The adult, once fully wrapped in their cocoon, was covered from the tip of their toes to the top of their head with copper plates. As for the baby, it was only covered in small copper fragments, but there were also some other artifacts that archaeologists can't really see yet. The team removed the mummies along with as much soil and dirt as possible so they could protect it and then study everything later in more detail. The archaeologists were so shocked by the amazing preservation of the adult mummy that they haven't even risked opening the cocoon yet. It's now being preserved at a laboratory in Russia, waiting for scientists to perform some non-intrusive analysis to discover more about this ancient people. Number 9. The Frozen Scarecrow Back in 1939, the Soviets wanted the Finns to move their border over a few miles, handing over the land to the USSR so that they could construct a naval base and create a buffer zone around the city of Leningrad. The Finnish people refused to move their border, resulting in what we know of today as the Winter War. Almost immediately, the Soviets began massing troops along the border of Finland. It was pretty brutal, seeing as Finland had around 3 million people, while the Soviet Union had around 171 million people. In a bizarre attempt to keep their borders secure, Finnish soldiers started taking the frozen corpses of Soviet soldiers and mounting them on sticks like scarecrows. The Soviets were shocked to come across bodies completely frozen in the snow, hard as stone, sticking up making everything quite creepy. It was minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit during the Winter War, so soldiers often dropped dead of hypothermia rather than bullet wounds. The Finnish people then used these frozen bodies and would pose them to intimidate their Soviet enemies. The bodies were all taken down after the war, but there are still some disturbing photos of ice scarecrows floating around as a reminder of those terrifying dark days. Number 8. Zombie Plants Frozen zombie plants from the last miniature ice age have just been revived after spending 400 years encased in ice. In an unprecedented act of science, experts managed to recover the frozen plants from melting Canadian glaciers and were actually able to bring them back to life. The scientists involved in the study referred to the structural preservation of these plants as exceptional. In the laboratory, they were able to grow them as if nothing had happened. What? I can barely keep a house plant alive. Scientists now know that some plants are significantly tougher than previously thought, clearly, able to bounce back even after spending centuries entombed in ice. The resurrected plants were taken from the Teardrop Glacier, located in the Northern Territory of Nunavut. This particular glacier has been melting at an alarmingly fast rate, at over 12 feet each year. Thanks to the rapid melting, Plants that were frozen hundreds of years ago are suddenly being revealed. Researchers from the University of Alberta were exploring the glacier when they stumbled upon the black remains of what they thought were dead plants. So they stuck them in buckets and took them home. The scientists managed to date the plants back to around the year 1550 AD, when the world experienced a brief ice age that lasted for 300 years. Brief in terms of world history, but kind of long given our lifespan. Scientists can't exactly say what this discovery means for humankind as a whole. All they know is that when it comes to plants, even being frozen for hundreds of years can't stop their growth. Probably a good reason to freeze some seeds in case the apocalypse comes. Number 7. Ancient Bison Stew During the last ice age, a special breed of bison roamed from what is today Spain across Europe and Russia into China and beyond to Canada. It hung out with ancient horses, the woolly rhinoceros, and even the woolly mammoth. In fact, the ancient steppe bison is one of the oldest animals ever drawn by humans, found in prehistoric caves throughout Europe. But unfortunately, the bison went extinct roughly 8,000 years ago. 
In its absence, the American bison became the most prevalent of its kind throughout North America. North of Fairbanks in Alaska during the gold rush back in 1976, a family of miners discovered the immaculately preserved carcass of one of these extinct bison. It was the corpse of a large male encased in a block of ice. The creature was gigantic, dated to be 36,000 years old, and he was also blue. The family named the prehistoric beast Blue Babe after Paul Bunyan's mythical companion. They realized the specimen was unique, so they got a hold of a paleontologist from the University of Alaska named Dale Guthrie. Dale and his team then melted the layer of ice around the dead bison and performed an in-depth analysis. So why was he blue? When the bison started to decompose, the animal tissue reacted with iron in the soil creating a coat of white vivianite. When it was exposed to the air, it turned into a brilliant shade of blue. What they discovered is that the bison was probably killed by another extinct animal from the Ice Age, a prehistoric lion. The attack probably went down in winter, so the bison's remains were frozen solid. The team managed to bring the dead bison back to the University of Alaska Museum and preserve it for generations to come. But in 1984, right before the specimen went on exhibit, they did something a little strange. Dale extracted a bit of meat from the bison's neck and used it to make a stew. This bizarre experiment turned out to be quite enlightening. Nobody got sick from the stew. Everyone who ate it said the bison meat tasted just like ordinary beef. And thanks to the brave diners, we now know that frozen meat is still edible 36,000 years later. If given the chance, would you dare eat bison stew made from 36,000 year old meat? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are new here. I want to give a big shout out to Adam Shiflet and Chris Hadwin. Thanks so much for supporting this channel. We wouldn't be here without you. Number six, ancient puppy. Speaking of frozen critters, an ancient puppy was recently discovered frozen in the Siberian permafrost. The puppy dates back 18,000 years and seems to be an ancestor of both wolves and dogs. DNA tests have been inconclusive, with experts not able to determine whether the small canine was a wild beast or a domesticated friend, but it might play a very important role in understanding who were the first people to domesticate dogs and where our best friends come from. The puppy's name is Dogor, and it was found by locals in the frigid Siberian wasteland in 2018. Thanks to the unusually warm winter, the puppy had emerged from the ice so amazingly preserved that it still had its teeth, its whiskers, its eyelashes, and all of its internal organs. Researchers were able to figure out that the animal was only two months old at the time of its death, though they can't say why it died. The DNA was sequenced by the best in the world at the Center for Paleogenetics in Sweden. The DNA told them that the dog was a male, somewhere along the evolutionary track between a wild wolf and a domesticated dog that could be a common canine ancestor, or even an extinct kind of wolf that died during the Ice Age. Number 5. Glacier Plain A heat wave recently unveiled a lost warplane from the Second World War that was hidden beneath the ice for 72 years. The warplane was a United States military transport aircraft flying from Austria to Italy back in 1946. But before it could ever make it to its destination, a snowstorm forced the aircraft to make a crash landing in the Bernese Alps. The 12 servicemen on board were rescued by Swiss soldiers after spending five days trapped on the frozen mountain. However, the C-53 Skytrooper, also known as a Dakota, was beyond rescue. They had no choice but to leave it on the mountain, and in the following years, the airplane was buried under layers of snow and ice and forgotten. In August 2018, Temperatures in the Swiss Alps soared and caused a lot of places to melt for the first time in many years. The unusually warm weather up in the mountains finally revealed the plain. Investigators discovered tin cans, old spoons, and all kinds of ordinary items inside the crashed plain. Number 4. Mysterious Frozen Caveman A bizarre caveman stuck in what looks like a block of ice was recently discovered along a trail in a Minneapolis park. The mysterious caveman sculpture has been confusing local hikers who find it along their path. It's been compared to the mysterious Utah Monument found last November, since nobody knew where it came from or who put it there. 
It's obviously not an alien monolith dropped from space, but it is highly unusual. The first people to find the frozen caveman quickly realized that it wasn't actually trapped in a block of ice, but instead secured inside a brick of plastic. The caveman inside is actually a sculpture of a Neanderthal. After a bit of mystery and online speculation, the maker of the frozen caveman came forward to claim it as his own creation. He's an artist named Zach Schumach. Zach told local TV news that he wanted to make something people could have fun with in the great outdoors that didn't involve their phone or the internet. He hoped the unusual site would encourage people to go out, explore the parks, and check out the trails. Did it work? Do you want to go hiking now? Let me know in the comments below. Number 3. Lost Bodies The owner of a Swiss ski resort was shocked when his workers came across a small collection of bodies that had been frozen in the ice for 75 years. This time they weren't sculptures, but actual real people. Employees of Switzerland's Glacier 3000 Ski Resort were out doing maintenance near the ski lifts when one of them noticed a large black rock that he thought looked a little out of place. As it turned out, it was extremely out of place. It also wasn't a rock. When he took a closer look, he realized he was staring at a dead body sticking out of the ice. Not just one body either, there were two of them. They belonged to Marceline and Francine Dumoulin, who went missing almost a century ago. Amazingly, the crew at the ski resort knew immediately who the dead people were. The missing couple had been a legend at the ski resort ever since they mysteriously vanished without a trace. Nobody knew what happened to them back then, but they were assumed to be dead and gone. The couple had owned a farm and went missing while exploring the area. It was in August of 1942, and their family searched for them for over two months. But by the time winter showed up, the weather was so terrible that they had to give up. The couple left behind seven children. Today, two of those kids are still alive. To finally know what happened to their parents has been a huge blessing. Since the discovery, the bodies, which honestly weren't much more than blackened bones at this point, were excavated from the mountain and given proper burials. Number 2. Primeval Lake A primeval lake has been discovered buried underneath about a mile of ice in Greenland. Scientists say this mysterious buried lake could hold secrets to the ancient climate of Greenland. The lake formed at a time when Greenland wasn't covered in even a scrap of ice. This was several million years ago, but because Greenland's ice is rapidly melting, the lake could once again be filled with water in the next handful of years. According to Guy Paxman from Columbia University, the landscape of Greenland is currently concealed and inaccessible, but with the new discovery of the lake, scientists have a rough idea of what the huge plot of land will look like once all the ice is gone yet again. Guy Paxman and his team discovered the lake in the first place thanks to radar technology, which is able to penetrate the icy surface and read the topography below. The lake is approximately 1.1 miles below the surface and stretches 2,700 square miles. It's roughly the size of Delaware and Rhode Island squished together. At its deepest point, the lake extends 800 feet down. Number 1. Entombed in Ice a tragic and shocking discovery was recently made in Russia after an extremely atrocious spout of winter weather, including freezing rain. A homeless man was on his way to the local cathedral when heavy rain and icy winds came out of nowhere. Everyone who could run inside did, but the homeless man was out of luck. He got stuck in the storm and was not found until much later, literally encased in a tomb of ice. The local people were shocked to discover the guy in the middle of the street, still wearing his mask for COVID-19, solid as an ice sculpture. They believe he was running to escape the storm but slowly turned into an icicle. He probably fell down, couldn't get up, and just kind of slowly froze to death. But believe it or not, this was not the first time such an incident has occurred. The caretaker of the cathedral, which the homeless man was trying to seek shelter in, told the Siberian Times that the year before, five people suffered similar fates. They were all vagrants found in the local park after being frozen solid by ice cyclones. This insanity seems to be happening every year in the Siberian city of Vladivostok, where it evidently gets so cold that you can freeze solid just trying to walk down the street. What's the craziest thing you've ever seen discovered in ice? Let me know in the comments below. And thanks for watching! 
If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Bye.